Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. My goodness, we are not at home. We're in a hotel room in Las Vegas. Like, when was the last time we did this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, we are so excited to be here. We are at the... Golden Nugget oh. on Fremont Street. I'll tell you what, we're only going to be here a very short time. You know how our staycations work. They're about 18 hours. Oh, boom, yeah. bang. <laughs> we, so we try to pack in as much as we can, but uh, we're going to show you as much as we can. And oh, I'll tell you what, the pool here is amazing. And we have an amazing view from our room. Wait till you see. All right, get ready, because this adventure starts right now. On this bright and windy Sunday, we are headed north on I-15 past the resort corridor and on to downtown Las Vegas. Here on Main Street is the Art District's most buzzworthy new property, the English Hotel. <laughs> yes, it is open and we will be showing it to you next week. We cannot wait. Today's staycation destination is the venerable Golden Nugget, a Las Vegas icon since 1946. To the left of the driveway is the valet and drop-off area. And to the right on 1st Street is the South Park Garage. <laughs> I'm very happy to report that it's absolutely free for hotel guests. Let's zip up to the room. Well, hey, welcome to the Golden Nugget. Come on in. The Golden Nugget has more than 2,400 rooms and suites in four towers. We are staying in the Gold Tower, the first one built back in 1977, and the one with the most central access to the casino. These rooms are 378 square feet and were redone in 2015. There's a king-size bed a wrap-around sofa and seating area, a work desk, and a flat-screen HDTV. Over here is a convenient charging port next to the bed. In the closet is luggage storage, a safe, iron, and a hair dryer. Step into the bathroom and there's a glass enclosed shower and tub with a terrific rain shower head. This sink bowl is contemporary chic and we always appreciate that magnifying mirror. And the toiletries are Crabtree and Evelyn, one of Paula's favorites. Okay, we're on the 15th floor, so let's check out the view. We are looking straight down at the Golden Nuggets award-winning pool complex called The Tank and The Hideout, and it looks flat-out fabulous. As a backdrop to the pool, that's the Rush Tower, the newest at the Nugget built in 2009. And behind it, you can just see the pool deck over at the plaza. We're headed down to the pool in just a few minutes, so stay tuned. Okay, let's talk dollars and cents on this. The reason we picked the Golden Nugget is because we had joined the Landry Select Club back when we went to the Palm Restaurant, and they sent us a deal for 30% off any room at the Golden Nugget. Here we are. So we are in the gold tower and we're in the premium king room. It cost us $146 for this room. And then you add in the resort fees and taxes, that's another 60. So we're at 206. And then earlier this week, we decided to treat ourselves and we upgraded to concierge check-in for another 60 bucks. 
I'm telling you, totally worth it. Great, great experience for the concierge. So, $266 for this Whirlwind Overnighter. Over the years, we have seen the pool deck through the windows as we walk by, but today is the very first time we have ever actually entered the tank. This pool complex cost a whopping $30 million and it's worth every penny. In fact, the Travel Channel listed among their top 10 extreme pools. The pool is lagoon style, complete with waterfalls. And in the center is a 200,000 gallon shark tank aquarium. <laughs> You're drawn to it immediately from the front, but actually the view is much better from the back. The shark tank is home to five species of sharks along with hundreds of other exotic saltwater sea creatures. The tank is cared for by a passionate team of specialists and we read online that the filtration system is exactly like the filter in your home aquarium times a billion. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. There's another huge aquarium on the property at the chart house also cared for by the tank team. Now, to be honest, we could actually stand here and watch these guys all day, but there's so much more to see, so let's move on. The expansive pool deck has plenty of lounge chairs on three sides of the circular pool. There are inviting seating areas, some with fire pits, and a total of 17 cabanas on three levels. They've even got a few tables out here for some gaming action. And on the other side is the H2O bar for your adult beverages. By the time you watch this, the spring swimming hours will be in effect from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. One more thing that big, bright yellow slide. It's a three-story tube that actually shoots you through the shark tank, seriously. The slide will be opening on March 25th this year and it's a can't miss thrill ride. So we saw this from our upstairs window and couldn't wait to check it out. The adults only pool called the hideout at H2O is up a flight of stairs and snuggled up next to the rush tower. You've got an infinity pool, premium cabanas and a bar hidden back there, day beds, exuberant flower pots, and killer views. That's Circa on the north end. And straight down First Street to the south. We absolutely love it up here. The Grill is that quick stop food outlet that you always find right next to a sports book. A great place to get a hot dog or a sandwich and not miss anything. Whoops! It's the hot dog. We're going to split this hot dog. So, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Now, that was a good hot dog and let me tell you, that bun hit the spot. Onward now for a G&T. Rush Lounge is on the casino floor near the sports book, but worlds away once you step inside. The seating is comfortable, the cocktails are handcrafted, and that chandelier is pretty spectacular. You can play blackjack in here, watch sports, that's actually the Pennzoil 400 at the Las Vegas Speedway on the TV, and there's live entertainment on weekend evenings. All right, folks, well, we tried to get a gin and tonic at the pool, 
but it was too cold and we couldn't stand it. So we went back up to our room, got dressed, put our coats on, and now I'm not exactly sure what lounge this is, but we got our gin and tonic, Tangeray. Mm, let me try it. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Well, hey, we're just trading uh, the phone back and forth to capture video. This is called the Rush Lounge. And I just say, on a Sunday afternoon, the Golden Nugget is a madhouse. That casino is so much old Vegas. I love being here. Anyway, cheers, everybody. Tanqueray. It's mid-afternoon on a Sunday, and Fremont Street beckons. This five-block entertainment venue is the epitome of pedestrian malls and attracts more than 24 million visitors a year. <laughs> and I think at least half of them must be here today. Above us is Viva Vision, the world's largest video screen which serves as a canopy to all the madness down here. It's 1,500 feet long, 90 feet wide, and 90 feet tall, and endlessly fascinating day or night. And talk about sensory overload, neon marquees even in the daytime, flare bartenders, slotzilla zip liners overhead, and plenty of people watching opportunities to be had. One of the biggest draws on the Fremont Street experience is their incredible commitment to live entertainment on no less than three stages. On this afternoon, you have Crush playing on the Main Street stage. A dancing DJ on the First Street stage. And the Tony Marcus Band playing Rousing Country on the Third Street stage. Well, that stage just happens to be adjacent to the D, and I hear a horse racing slot calling my name. Up the exterior escalator to the balcony and a quick pan of the street below. Now, I cannot help but notice the speaker system in this place, so we actually looked up some info on it. The Fremont Street Experience did a major upgrade to the sound in late 2020. There are 26 pairs of speakers distributed down five blocks comprising of a 52.4 channel audio system. It's called Timex and delivers fully immersive sound to the stages and the street below. All right, ever since we did the D video a few weeks ago, I have been itching to do some horse racing. I grabbed the last seat, fed in my quarter, and tried my luck at the Sigma Derby in the vintage Vegas slots at the D. I won the first race, lost the second, but I tell you, it's a blast. Okay, that's enough distraction. Let's get back to work. Let's take a look at the exterior of the Golden Nugget. It's at the corner of Casino Center and Fremont, literally in the middle of this never-ending party. Step outside the doors and you are swept up immediately. At street level is bar 46 with its fire pit out front. And just a few feet away is the stage bar. Easy to mosey up to this bar for a drink right from Fremont. Even Starbucks has a little patio area out here on the street. Because everyone's on foot, the Fremont frontage allows the Golden Nugget to entice us with some signage on the delights we will find inside. <laughs> I'll bite. Let's go discover what's on the casino floor. The Golden Nuggets Casino is a modest 38,000 square feet, but boy do they use every available square inch. This place is among the oldest in Las Vegas, but it was Steve Wynn's ownership in 1973 that turned it into a four-diamond resort. Today, the property is owned by Landry's and still maintains all that glitz and glamour. The gaming in here on a Sunday afternoon is energizing, and I'll tell you what, it feels like old Las Vegas, especially at the tables. Worth a mention is the loyalty program called the 24 Carat Club. What happened, Dale? 
I don't know, it was a mistake <laughs> on their part. 6,400 quarters, Dale. I'll take it. That's six, that's, that's. $1,600. $1,600. Yeah, all right. I'm stuttering. <laughs> When you're here, a visit to the largest gold nugget on public display in the world is an absolute must. This beauty is called the Hand of Faith Nugget, and it weighs more than 61 pounds. The nugget was found by a prospector in Victoria, Australia in 1980, and guess where? In his own backyard. Just steps away near the elevators is the essential shop. Pick up snacks, beverages, and perhaps even a doll. Because we opted for concierge check-in, we bypassed the hotel registration area when we arrived. But it is so beautiful, we just have to show it to you. On the entry doors are etched glass inserts. And the only word we can use to describe this check-in space is opulent. The marble columns and floors. And those chandeliers. Wow! You'll also find the box office in here. And let me tell you, this place really pulls in some great entertainment. Also in the lobby area is a boutique sweet shop called The Chocolate Box. In here are fine artisan chocolates and truffles gifts and favors, and the very best of American and European designs. And guess what? Paula didn't even buy one. Next up, dinner. Vic and Anthony's here at the Golden Nugget was the second location for this Houston-based restaurant, and they just received an Open Table Diner's Choice Award for 2022. Step into the vestibule and say hello to your meal. USDA prime beef, and live lobsters. The ambiance in the restaurant is dark and intimate with white tablecloths and dark woods. There's a nice private dining room and a bar area. The ceiling and light fixtures are gorgeous pops of color. The menu at Vic and Anthony's is the essence of fine steakhouse dining with exquisite appetizers, wagyu and prime beef selections, the freshest seafood, and classic sides. We received a basket of crusty bread immediately and started our meal with a caprese salad. Good evening, everyone. We are at Vic and Anthony's Steakhouse. We had a reservation for kind of early 5.30 because we had no lunch. We've been on the run all day, and we just finished our salad of just wonderful tomatoes and mozzarella and slices of fresh basil, and we ordered fillets. You're going to see those in a minute. All right, so what have we here? This is an 8-ounce fillet. Those are heirloom carrots. Mr. Dale has a 12 ounce filet. These plates are so hot, they sear your skin. And then finally we ordered au gratin potatoes. What a feast. We are digging in. This is incredible. <laughs> well, we just left the restaurant. We did. We just stepped outside trying to escape the music so we could talk to you a little bit about Vic and Anthony's. So what'd you think? Um, you know, we've been to a lot of steakhouses in our time. We don't think it was the best we've ever had. No, it's it was hard good. To, hard to put our finger on it. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. There was um, just something about, about it that I don't know. I just... Yeah, the, the steaks were a little hard to cut. Um, they weren't as flavorful as I've had elsewhere. For example, Oscars over at the plaza. 
Um, oh, Oscars. Oh, my God. Is That's incredible in terms of yeah, the actual cut of meat yeah. that you get. And the yeah. au gratins, I've, I've had better at Fleming's, actually. Right. Yeah. Um, carrots were very carrots good. Carrots were awesome. And, and the uh, caprese salad was very good as well. Uh, the Bud Light was fantastic. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that is important. The bread was crusty and really good. Yeah. And we had good service. So. Yeah, the, the, our server was very good. There was just something about it that I just, I can't put my finger on it. And I looked at Paul and I said, what did what, what you think? And So we thought we'd come out and just yeah. give you our impressions while they were fresh. Now, and I wouldn't say that that would happen every time you walk in there. Actually, it's very highly yeah, rated. It's very highly Anthony's. rated. Very yeah. highly rated. I think it was so. just uh, the experience that we had. First of all, I was sort of crunched in a corner, which yeah, they I, put I us don't like. Way in yeah. a corner, and he's claustrophobic, so that wasn't ideal. I was so, very, I was yeah. very uncomfortable from where I was sitting, uh, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Moving on, it is Sunday evening, and we are going to go enjoy the Golden Nugget, and we're going to enjoy Fremont Street. We found some live music in we one did. of the lounges, so we will continue our adventure. All right, let's do it. The only sensible thing to do after a meal like that is to walk it off down on Fremont Street. It's Sunday evening and the neon looks fantastic. Tip of the hat to the nine partner casinos in the Fremont Street experience. These are iconic names in Las Vegas casino history. The California Hotel and Casino. The Fremont Hotel and Casino. Circa Resort and Casino. Four Queens Hotel and Casino. The Golden Gate Hotel and Casino. The Main Street Station Casino, Brewery and Hotel. Binion's Gambling Hall. The D Casino and Hotel. And the Golden Nugget Las Vegas. The crowds are bigger tonight, if that's even possible, than this afternoon. And the party atmosphere never lets up. On the stages, the live music rocks on. Blue String Theory is on Main Street stage. And Stays in Vegas is rocking out at First Street. We will leave a link in the description box to the entertainment schedule. And our home for the night, the Golden Nugget, looks absolutely beautiful. The Golden Nugget website calls Ice Bar its ultra-chic lobby bar, and we have to agree. It just steps up from the hotel check-in, and literally on the other side of the glass from the pool, it's in a perfect spot, and it's always busy. The decor from the chandelier. To the bar top to the white couches absolutely makes it feel like our temperature drops just being here. Ice Bar offers a fine collection of gins and vodkas and a fun build your own Bloody Mary option as well. We got a little Glen Livid here. We're ending up the night and then we're going to head back up to the room. Well, was that an interesting ending or what? <laughs> we were so tired by then and we just kind of want to sit and chill, but Steve had other plans. Although, shout out, he actually bought us our Glenlivets. So, yeah, and you, it, what was funny was I think he thought he knew us. He didn't know, he, I mean, he did not know us from YouTube at no, all. No, not at all. In fact, he goes, Well, I don't go on any of that stuff. I don't do internet or nothing. But he just sat down and he just. Sort of, we became joined a in. We became friends. <laughs> hey, when you're downtown, you got to roll with it. And you know, it, that that wasn't the first time it happened either. It happened several times during the day. It's the hat. Yeah, I think it was the hat. It sort of <laughs> sort of draws in the the, the guys, you know, and yeah. and they just come over like you're they're your friend, and we just start talking. And we're good. We're good <laughs> <Right>. with that. <laughs> so anyway, Steve. You're a great guy. Thank you for buying those uh, drinks for us, and uh, we hope you made it back to Colorado safely. Meanwhile, what do you think of the Golden Nugget? That place is dazzling, is it not? Absolutely <laughs> a fabulous property. And I'm telling you, when I won money in there, I thought it was even better. <laughs> well, I was kind of speechless, as you saw. But let us just say, it wasn't really a resort tour. 
there are so many restaurants and venues and over in the rush tower there we didn't even get to any of that so maybe sometime in the future um but there's a lot to see and do at the nugget and a lot of great restaurants yeah we we missed a bunch of the restaurants in fact there's a chick-fil-a in there i saw yeah and that uh, saltgrass steakhouse really piqued our interest oh we, man i really we would wanted have loved to, get to go in there, in there but yeah. it was mobbed <laughs> so let me just say that not only did i win at the golden nugget i went across the street to binions and i won six hundred dollars there and then we stayed out on the uh, you know partying on the uh, on the tarmac there, and I came back and I won another five hundred at the at the the uh, nugget the again nugget. different yeah. bar. So, so I don't do that very often over here in the suburbs. <laughs> like never. Like so never. So it was a very very lucky night downtown. Okay, and also last week Paul and I went down to the Win. We had dinner at Allegra. Oh my goodness, was it that was great? It was wonderful. Wow. We had show plans. We actually went to a live show. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we went to see Leanne Morgan. Now, I just a little history about about me uh, in show business. When I started out back in the early 70s, I actually opened for a couple comedians and one of them was Tom Patterson he and I used to go and we would do muscular dystrophy uh, benefit stuff and all that kind of stuff but he he introduced me to something that that I, has always stuck in my mind and Paul and I go along with this even to this day he says if you have to swear while you're on stage to be a comedian you're not really a comedian Leanne didn't say a swear word at all, and she was hilarious. <laughs> she was hilarious. And I'll tell you how I got hooked on her. It was during lockdown, and uh, I was searching for things. You know, you, you get depressed. I we was all depressed. Did. Yeah, we all got. <laughs> and I was looking for someone. This woman popped up on Facebook, and I just fell in love with her. And what she would do is, well, she would play some of her comedy routines that she had pre recorded, but then she started to get into telling you about res uh, recipes and and her life and and her family and all that stuff and she always and I'm gonna get broke up here and when she finished telling you all this stuff on Facebook she she would just look at the camera and go you know y'all everything gonna be fine we're all gonna be okay don't worry about nothing and I'll tell you I went back several times just to watch dead ending for hers because I think uh, of all the things other than Paula She's one of the people that really got me through all that stuff that we went through. All right, I got Misty. <laughs> people yeah. love when you do that. I, I know, but <laughs> anyway, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else you want to tell these nice people, let me look around. Who's in the house? Paula. Thank you for hanging with us for a long staycation. And join us next week. We're going to the English Hotel. All right, hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, bye, everybody. everybody.